Hey, this is Rick Terry, Main Real Estate Guide. I'm on location in the town of Lakeville. Right now I'm up on a, a plateau that is part of three 40 plus or minus acre lots that uh, all together uh, have about 128 acres of, of land that's coming to market. I'm um, up here taking, taking a look around. It's a pretty nice looking parcel of land. It's uh, It's got some elevation to it. It uh, there are portions of it that probably probably you'd want to avoid trying to build on because they're pretty steep. Uh, but this uh, this piece that I'm on here, which is um, has uh, as you can see this uh, nice trail behind me, it's predominantly hardwood here. It's and uh, a lot of beach. So this is going to be a, a property that uh, if you're knowledgeable about Maine North Woods and uh, and food for animals, uh, beech nuts are a, a mass crop of, of some significance. And on a beech nut year, you'll find quite a bit of game on beech ridges. And uh, this this is a nice, nice piece. There's a lot of beech here. And uh, they're of uh, the age necessary to, to start bearing bearing uh, cr uh, crops of uh, mast. So let's, uh, let's take a, a walk around and we'll talk a little bit more about this piece. So, here's a kind of a panorama of an area that is pretty flat up here. So, if you're looking for a place to possibly build a cabin, maybe, uh, if you wanted to have a lot of privacy and get away uh, from uh, the main gravel road that bisects the land, you could probably come up here and do it. You'd have to build quite a driveway. It would add to the expense of building the camp, but... If you want the privacy, that's kind of what you got to do. Or just keep it as an unimproved parcel of land, let the trees grow and come out here and pitch a tent during hunting season somewhere and and uh, and hunt this property. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty nice. I like the, I like the looks of it. Uh, on a beach ridge and a beach nut year, you're going to find lots of rough grouse. You're going to find black bear. You're going to find white-tailed deer because uh, it is a... Uh, it is a food of, of some significance that's necessary for these uh, North North Country animals to survive the winter. But, uh, you know, this is predominantly, again, another little panorama, predominantly a beach ridge. There's some other hardwood stems in here. I see a little bit of yellow birch and some white birch, and you know, there's probably a maple or two in here too, but predominantly beach. It's a nice looking, nice looking parcel right here. Probably hard to tell from cam from the camera, but this section of road is uh, as we're descending from the plateau down towards um, the main gravel road that uh, traverses this property. And the the grade here is about forty five degrees. Uh, so if you're building a road again to uh, have a cabin back here. Uh, you're gonna have to build a, a decent road because it's uh, when uh, <clears throat> when the snow on the ground and stuff, you might go for a ride because <laughs> she's quite steep. But uh, but it's got good gravel. Uh, it's uh, not not muddy really. Um, so it's uh, it can be done. It's pretty good pretty good uh, road base from from when they logged it probably 20 years ago, and it's still still in really good condition. One of the things about Maine that uh, is very very interesting is Maine Maine was formed. Uh, Maine used to be covered with ice and glaciers, uh, you know, covered covered this entire area. And when they receded, they just left huge boulders as they uh, melted away thousands of years ago. And uh, <clears throat> this prime example of it here, there's this huge. Several ton boulders scattered all throughout this property. So we made it back down to the right of way road that gives you access to the property, as and other people have the right to use this road too. That are property owners here in in, in Lakeville. Uh, tell from the growth of uh, bushes here alongside the road, it doesn't get a heck of a lot of traffic. I haven't heard a vehicle since I've been here, and uh, the only noise I hear are buzzing of mosquitoes and the gnawing of black flies behind my ear. But other than that, it's all is good here in Lakeville on this 128 plus or minus acre parcel of land. 
pretty much all high and dry. There is a small spring brook at one corner of one of the lots. I walked into there. That's kind of low ground. You could try to build there, but it's a little wetter down there. So from a practical standpoint, uh, the land, as you're looking at the this at Camaranga here, the land to your right is high and dry with high elevations. And the, the land to your left along this road is is lower. Uh, it's, it's flatter, uh, but it is lower. So uh, it's a nice parcel to either buy and hold or build a camp or, or what have you. It's a, it's a nice looking piece of ground. So if you're in the market for better than 100 acres of land, 128 plus or minus acres of land with uh, a lot of high and dry ground, hardwood ridge, got some low land too. And as you can hear, a little babbling seasonal spring runoff off the top of the mountain here. Your Rick Terrio, your main real estate guy to call at area code 207-731-9902. Let's come check this out.